So you can see today I'm going to be using this um, simplicity pattern. This is easy to sew. 39.35. Okay. I'm not going to give you measurements. Uh, this is a pattern that I expect you to get this pattern or one similar to it and follow the instructions that I'm given. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this top all in one color here. I'm going to do the top in the smallest size just because I don't have anybody to gift it to or to wear it so I didn't want to use a lot of the um, fabric and Twisty wanted me to make her some pants and the top unfortunately is not would not fit her because of her ample bosoms so I'm just going to make the top for the sake of doing the video here and showing you guys how to do it and um, so anyway for that one that would be top A so I've cut out the pieces that I need and I'm not going to go over each individual piece with you you'll follow the instructions if you get this exact same pattern follow the instructions for that particular top and what pieces to cut out but I'll just go over real quick the pattern pieces with you I've got piece 5 which is the sleeve piece 2 they're not in order piece 2 which is the um, part for the v-neck here the neck band they call it. I've got the bodice piece or the yoke is called which is piece one and then I've got the back piece which is four and you'll cut those on the fold which means you fold the fabric over and you line that fold where it says center fold up with the fold of the fabric and you do not cut that fold. You, you want to cut it on the fold so that it opens up to a bigger size and then I've got piece three so that's you got one two three four five those are the ones I'm cutting out for this particular pattern and I've, got, I've already got those cut out now we're going to get started assembling it so I wanted you guys to see now normally I don't sew patterns and I want to say this before I get anything started I cut my notches out going in but I noticed when I looked at the pattern instructions they have them going out which is probably the better absolutely the better way to do it but I'm sure this isn't going to interfere but I did cut my notches this time because I wanted to be sure that I have everything in place especially with a pattern like this because for me personally this is complicated I don't I've never even been able to make um, top patterns myself for things I make unless it's like a sundress or something so I made sure I had all the notches cut, but I cut them inward. So you really want to cut them pointing out, but it's okay. I'm, I'm going to make it work for this because I've used every bit of my Star Wars fabric here and I don't have any left to redo it. So I've got the two yoke pieces and I've got the two, um, the two um, V's or whatever, whatever you call them. And what you want to do is fold those with the wrong sides facing together and just make sure they meet and see mine line up good the little notches so that's that's what you want if you have the arrows going out you want those to line up too and I think once my mom told me it's okay to do it this way but if you cut too much you're going to cut into your past your seam allowance and you're going to mess things up so I should have remembered that but um now the instructions say to stay stitch it's from here to here and that's exactly what I'm going to do because it's supposed to prevent stretching and warping of the garment so what I'm going to do is just take a loose stitch top straight stitch and just stay stitch right along the edge here on both of these yoke pieces and then I'm going to attach these little pieces right here okay so you can see down that what will be the middle of the chest part I've stay stitched both of these um, yeah that one's there so now what I'm going to do is start adding the these little pieces right here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take this yoke piece right here and I want to take the matching piece to it and we're going to line up those notches. Uh, 
Okay, I want to show you guys the difference because that it was shocking to me that there was so much seam allowance. But that little notch that is down here in this um, yoke piece, it should be sewn completely over and it should look like this. And like I say, this is my first time doing this. I didn't want to do it for practice because I didn't want to waste the fabric. But you need to make sure that that's your seam allowance. So I'm going to do that right now. What I'm going to do is turn this over so I can see that. And I'm going to sew right to that little point there that was in the yoke. So that when everything meets, it kind of makes, you know, an even piece. It didn't look right to me, so I went back and looked. Okay, so anyway, that is the depth of the seam allowance, which is a little more than half an inch, I think. And I guess that's to give it some sewing power, too, because if you sew it too close, that's going to want to turn in when you're wearing the garment. So, anyway, sorry about that. I wanted to show you guys in case you do the same thing I did and you're like, that doesn't look right. And it's probably not going to fit right either if you don't fix it. So now what we have to do is we have to stitch this together. We, it says to lay the left over the right. I don't know why that's important, but I guess it is. And you basically want this to overlap just a little bit to where it makes it, it looks even. So I'm going to pin mine. So see where we're overlapping it? and just take it to the machine and it just recommends you want to make sure you're covering from where this piece is behind here and this over the top and I'm going to use a loose stitch you can see I'm using my new Janome Janome, Janome, I call it Janome um, my new Janome machine and there's not a lot of settings on it it's still taking me some time to get used to it but I've got the stitch length on number three, and this is a basic Janome machine with straight and zigzag stitch and a couple of decorative stitches. And it's on A, which is straight stitch. So I've got it between three and four, closer to the three. Just I don't want a tight stitch, I just want to stitch over this. And when you feel that you've covered all of that that's back there, then you're good. You don't have to go crazy with it. Okay, so this is the top of the front of the top, or the bottom of the front of the top, and this is the yoke part. So we're going to turn this upside down with the right sides facing together, and we're going to hope and pray that these notches that I made line up, and I think they do. Yeah, they line up nicely. So I'm, I must be putting everything together, right? So now I just want to put a few pins in here so that it doesn't shift out of place when I'm sewing. Okay, so now that I've got this pinned with right sides facing together, I'm just going to sew across this part. Now we're going to lay it open. And you can see that that is. So you can see the front of the top's already starting to form. And I've got this um, seam laying going towards the bottom of the top. And I just want to press that down just to keep it nice and neat. Again, the pattern instructions don't really tell you to do these things, but they're things you know you need to do. They're not going to give it all to you. Then this this does call for a piece of bias tape around the neck so what we're going to do is right here at this point I'm just going to make a piece of bias tape out of the matching fabric and it says single fold so what you would do is create a piece that you fold the two outer edges to the middle 
mine ain't, ain't exactly going to be in the middle because it never is. And this, I just, I really don't understand the step of basting and then re -sewing. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So, I would think that at this point you could take your, you want your piece of bias tape or whatever you use, um, your fabric to be larger than the neckline because you're going to have some that you're going to want to feed into this. I'm not going to do the basting part because I don't find it necessary. So, at this point, what I want to do is before I sew these shoulder pieces together, I'm going to take this back piece and I'm going to I'm going to connect this to here, this piece of bias tape. You want to leave plenty of ends on it so that you can hide it in the front of the neckline and you'll see that when I get to that step. Okay, so what we're going to do is start the bias tape on the outside of the garment and we want to put it right along the edge of the neckline here and open it up and just remember to leave enough tail on both ends of this. And I'm going to very carefully sew along the edge of this bias tape here. So now that I've got that sewn there, I want to take, this is kind of tricky and it's hard to show you guys like this, but there's that middle seam that I want to be right around there we go those knees so you kinda got that one side folded over that one and it do you know what I'm saying okay so now you see the back to the front is some pretty neat Hopefully I didn't screw anything up with making this. And I want to see if we can join right sides together for the front and the back of the blouse. The top. Pajama top. We're not going to need all of that tail on there, but I'm leaving it for now because I don't know how much I'll need to cut off. You can see I'm going to join these at the shoulder. Now I want to cut it off to where I've got about about an inch and a half of that tail end sticking out on each end. And then what it says to do in the instructions is to tuck the bias tape down into this piece that you created right here. So that's what I'm trying to do. Ugh. Trying. You don't have to say trying, didn't you? I don't think you need to tuck it though until after. But I don't know how you, that would be. I'm just worried. Y'all see me working this out as I'm doing it because it's kind of confusing. I guess you could just leave it. I don't know if that tuck is going to work out so well. So what I'm going to do is line up my notches for the shoulders and we're going to put the shoulders together before we put the sleeves on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm going to sew so shoulder to shoulder. I'm not sewing this, but you know, I'm going to sew one shoulder then skip over and sew the next. Now my machine is just on normal settings. It's between the two and the three. And this is the genome or genomi. I call it genomi. I, I can't get out of that habit. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, get over it. 
um, it's just a basic straight and zigzag stitch machine but I've got it on straight stitch um, it's between the two and the three for the stitch length and the tension is on the between the four and the five and they're they're really there are no automatic settings for this this is a Janome new home 234 so just a basic machine but it does a good job so I'm going to show across this shoulder skip over and sew across this shoulder and then we're going to work on the sleeves Okay, so I snipped this this one off before I showed you guys that. It's, I don't know about leaving too much of that tail. It's not necessary. So what I would do is, if you have the, the time and the machine that will do a zigzag stitch and you don't use the serger like I don't, um, just make a tight zigzag stitch along all of your seam allowances here but the the thing with that is on the shoulders it's going to create some bulk so i'm not real sure if you really want to do that but um you know it's up to you so you see we have the front and the back sewn and when we open it up it looks like this it's got a bit of a pinch in it there yeah okay this is a the size I'm using is this extra small for a child that was on that pattern in case you guys are wondering. So it is teeny tiny. It's like maybe for a seven or eight year old. Okay, next thing we need to do is add the sleeves. Okay. So to add the sleeves, we just want to take a sleeve. And I was supposed to mark the dots too. I actually forgot to do that. But um, it's okay. So... Then we want to take the sleeve and you would want to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the middle so that I know. Normally you're, you're going to want to do this with the um, pattern. The pattern has marks for you to make and I forgot to make those. But um, hopefully this will just be right. So I'm just going to mark the middle. I'm going to line that middle up with we're going to do right sides facing together here now the middle of the sleeve I'm going to put at the middle of the the top seam where the shoulder seams are here and I'm going to pin it all down and I'm going to take it over the machine and I'm going to sew all this together Okay, so this is the first sleeve and I'm going to do the sleeves one at a time because it just it seems like it will be an easier task for me. And what I'm going to do is take this over to the machine and sew along the edge of this curve of the sleeve and I'm going to do that with both sleeves. Now that we got both sleeves sewn on, and I know it's kind of hard to see here, but you can see that this is like the, the back and the front of the top and the sleeves over here. Now what we want to do is fold it over just like it was a real top. We've got our, this is our arm folded over and this is the body of the top. And we want to line up the underarm seam and open it up because we don't want it to bunch up and be uncomfortable. I'm going to go ahead and pin that. So I'm going to pin both sides like that and then I'm going to sew starting from the bottom up and I'm, what I'm going to do is go from the bottom of the garment, which is the bottom of the shirt, all the way around to the end of, all the way around to the end of the arm, right down here where your hand will stick out. 
So I'm going to do that with both sides. Alrighty, you can see this is the top, wrong side out. Now let's turn it right side out and see what we got. Well, that's a pretty nice little pajama top there. No big issues to speak of, just a little confusion on my part from getting the um, notches inverted. <laughs> there you go. That's it. This was for my friend Lisa, um, who wanted me to show her how to put the pajama top together that she um, was working on for her children. Lisa, I hope this helped. Uh, anyway, that's it, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this little tutorial. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye.